Okay, so welcome everybody to the tutorial video of the update 1.1 for extra edit. I just launched this update. It's the first update ever. And here we have, uh, I'm going to just teach you all the, all the new features that I added. So first of all, the new UI is now way smaller. So it used to be this big, but now you can scale it up even smaller. And you can also scale it up from here. And then you'll be able to like scroll. It's a little bit broken. I'm going to fix it. And the second thing goes for the memes. The UI has also been improved. So here you have the video scale for every single meme, the randomness, and also the folder. And I didn't add anything new in here. And here I made a better UI. And so let's start with the zoom out. So now in Xturbo Edit, once you download the new update, you should go to shortcuts and then you'll find Xturbo Edit in here. And this one, the key on the left side of one, should be set to add cyan marker right here you can see and if this is set correctly if you updated the uh, extra edit correctly you should be able to click uh, the the button that's on the left side of uh, number one which will add a cyan marker now as you can see here it's no longer only zoom in so you can like differentiate a zoom in from zoom out which i think is a very useful feature so for example i can just add a cyan marker by clicking on my keyboard Click start editing and it's gonna do a little bit of a zoom out as you can see here and this is no longer from two and also the randomness i also i just made it the strength so it's no longer very confusing you can add like strength let's do 20 then it's gonna be a okay, sort of so hard one this is also still dependent on the, on the length of this clip that's under the marker so for example here's a very long clip i'm gonna add a cyan marker boom and it's gonna zoom out way more and this randomness can also be adjusted so let's do 50 this is going to be a lot yeah so this time it's every time it's random by the value you enter here and zoom in is pretty default also has a strength so let's add it in here boom now it's a little bit of a zoom in you know you can play around with the strength i would recommend staying between like 5 and 10 if you want you can go up and next we have the delete uh, so here we have a new drop down menu and usually when you, once you press 2 on your keyboard and press start editing it's gonna delete the clip but now i have selected disable clip so it's not gonna delete the clip it's actually just gonna disable it and gonna, this is a feature mm. in adobe premiere pro that basically just makes the video invisible like you can't hear any audio and in case you want to enable it just right click on it and click enable and you can see here every clip every, every other clip is enabled by default so what this could be useful okay. for is let's me let me just mute this so this is where i'm talking as you can see you can do this boom let's add a red marker here and here as well and you can you can move it while you're watching the video so you know there's a dead space in here with nothing that's being said so you just you know add these markers while you're watching which is very convenient and really really fast do that and then let's do delete clips this time boom and to delete all the clips everything works fine same with the zoom out as an animation and as an instant scale i added it in here so you can like do uh three this is zoom out this is zoom in like an instant one like this yeah, that's like an instant scale. So from boom, so that's, it doesn't move, it's just one single scale. So that's uh, three on the keyboard, which is the cyan one. So this is basically in order. This is the, that's on the left side of the of one. I don't know how to call this key, to be honest. And this is one, two, three, four, five. So let's add five in here. Yes, as you can see here, this is a zoom up and zoom down like that. Boom, okay. And now we have the rotate and scale fold. This is really cool once you have, once you like screaming or saying something very loud or saying, oh my God, like they add a yellow marker by clicking on five. And then you play around with these settings. This is the, the rotation. In this case, I'm going to rotate it uh, twice and then plus minus one. You add it and then boom, you have this cool effect. So this is a little bit too much. I would recommend staying around 360 and then maybe plus minus 50. Yeah that's a little bit slower and other than that there is nothing new in here um there's the memes i also added a custom built meme so if you want to have like your own type of meme once you say for example once you like rage really hard you can like add a custom folder i have a custom folder in here it just works like the other memes in here so you click on uh, seven seven is the hotkey for the a blue marker and then you drag it over and click 
that and as you can see here it's added a what this basically does what these values are in case you don't know you can you can watch if you know already you can just skip so this is the video scale behind the meme so here for example i added this picture from custom it's just a cool lamborghini and the video behind it is also scaled to the value you give it with a little bit of a randomness yeah you can like add a bunch of memes it's gonna always cut the clips uh, under it as you can see here it's gonna cut the clips and add everything you want so up for music there's nothing new in here like i said um here you can nothing new there are no settings that you can see here so we have the timeline settings which is basically just the settings for this for this uh blue line in here that moves around uh so let's uh first keep this enabled the move player while editing so what this does is it basically moves the player this uh blue line or while it's editing look at this so this blue line is going to move now you see and if you disable this it's not going to move it's just going to stay where it is and you can enable or disable and then we have a move player to the beginning after adding memes or effects so this is basically just uh after it's done adding memes and effects before it adds the song it goes back uh, but you can disable that now so now it goes back you can disable it in here and there's also cl close all the gaps which is basically just uh you know just closing the gaps after it's finished editing and the memes it just basically colors uh, the memes as you can see here uh, gives it a random uh, label and you have your account and that's pretty much it i guess these are all the new features and i'm gonna of course add more features in the future i also want to finish this for the next update hopefully uh yeah that's about it have fun playing around with the new update and let me know if you encounter any issues join the discord server it's gonna be in the description and yeah i'll see you bye bye